Well, the people at home have always got their own voice and the Rugby Pass fan's voice was brought to you by the All Blacks news sponsor, Healthspan Elite. Powering the fan's voice. Brought to you by Healthspan Elite, the official sports nutrition partner for the All Blacks. Have we got one more question? Well, there's plenty to talk about and plenty to debate and, of course, changing faces. He's got more questions. No, just it's one. Not, well, it's not going to fix everything. We've just got one. One, one more. What do you got? Is it true that we need the, the scrum? Because the Fords always... Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got to have a good scrum <laughs> to win a football game. It's a scourge of a game, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's a scourge of a That's, game. Bring on See another Lowy. back. Bring Hold on another Lowy. back <laughs> onto it. Let's take it, the question from you at home, though, and what you want... To know, and this is what it was. Have the All Blacks unearthed the Ford firepower to match it with the likes of England and South Africa up front? 61% of you said yes, 39% of you said no. Let's debate that. But the fact we've talked about the likes of Hoskins and Tutu, Akira Iwani getting better, but that physicality we're talking about, Patrick Tupolotu Mills, you look about the players that the All Blacks have started to develop. Do you like what you're seeing? And then as in comparison, let's talk about it, because the big boppers, England and South Africa, two teams that went on to play in last year's Rugby World well, Cup. Well, we won't get a comparison until we play those teams, but I like the way they're sort of tracking it about it. You've got some very young guys, a new breed of guys that are actually come through, and they've been exposed as well under, under a bit of pressure. So I like the fact that they're, they're, they're actually starting to... I mean, we've just spoken about Hoskins and the way he's, he's turned out, the balance of his game right across the board and he's come off the bench he's had to think about sort of the mentality of coming off the bench but also balance it out when he comes down to the field so I think I think they have Patrick Tupolotu for me has stepped up big time in terms of the physicality so I like the way they, they, they're tracking it's hard to get a comparison you know with the likes of England and that until you play them Tabs I don't want to talk about this too much but you're involved in a Super Rugby campaign down with the Chiefs mm -hmm. and it was a difficult season but you guys were very very close how much do you think that competition in particular prepared these guys for the next level? Yeah, I think unbelievably well. You're only as good as your competition, so if you're locking horn, horns every weekend with unrelenting opposition, uh, teams that know you really well, so you've got to adjust every weekend, it can only forge a stronger and stronger team. And I think the All Blacks, to choose from a group that's been basically battered around for 10 weeks, um, is reflecting in the matchup. you know, for the last three weekends. Are we making, are we closing that gap? Because we talked about it, I know John Plumtree, and Greg Feek talked about getting some of that intimidation factor, the fact that physicality in their Ford pack. Given we've only played Australia three times, the fact, though, do you see some improvements, JK? Yeah, we're heading in the right direction, but I think Foster comes out and says, we are picking Dupali Karifi for physicality. We're waiting for Frizzell to morph into Jerome Kaino. Against England and South Africa, you have to have someone that the opposition are going, whoa, not going to run down his lane, right? Did we have that in the last World Cup? Possibly not. Do we need it? Yes. And I think, you know, from all the voices coming, there's some amazing loose fours that have been mm. left at home. We know that, right? But they are looking for physicality. And if Frizzell says, I want to be that man, he's got to keep improving that as well. And you talk about Papa Lee earlier on, you talk about Cullen Grace, you yeah. were talking about it. We've got young guys, though, who are ready to step up to the fold. But also, we're not having to sacrifice, Mills, for me, some of that experience. Well, we've still got guys like Artie Savia. We've still got guys like Sam Kane who are there. Sam Whitelock, Dane Coles picking a fight every chance he gets, every opportunity. That physicality, we need an experience. We st still need to call on that, and that's something other teams don't have. Exactly, and that's a luxury we've got. You know, I mean, that you can, you can put a youngster in there with one or two test matches under his belt, but you've filled them up with guys that had 50, that have been there, that have been to war with each other, know that experience and feed, feed that to them. Australia haven't got that at the moment. You know, when you look at the guys that are making decisions out wide, you know, you know, one test, you know, Lolo Sia being put in the, in the I mean, it, him and, you know, Nick White, it's probably just him. So that's You're the right, luxury. Kate, there's no problems. So if it's Kate, there's no problems, apparently. <laughs> I'll tell you what, is the, the learning curve for those kids is going to be steep because they're playing every week, not getting the situation where we're getting the opportunity to bring guys in and out. Young guys having to face the All Blacks week after week. Mm. They'll have to get better and get better very, very quickly.